And everyone kept saying this reopening story in China has basically been, you know, faded now. It's done. What is the call and what is the, the advisor giving to clients over there in Shanghai now? Yeah, so since the beginning of May, we turned a little bit more cautious near term uh, because this is a period for the market to reset growth recovery expectations. And we've seen the May months correcting to that. Essentially, China didn't have stimulus to businesses or consumer. And so it's going to take a little bit longer than the typical post-pandemic recovery in DM. So it is in the recovery zone, but it's not moving into the expansion zone and it's just kind of wobbly in the recovery zone. Um, so I think this is a time where I think the MSCI China index could move a little bit lower on a four-year target of 54 at the risk case, 80 for the upside case. I think the next few months you're looking a range bound between 54 and 66. Uh, so we're not entirely out of this adjustment period, uh, but we're getting this started already. Wendy, I mean, but valuations, Hong Kong half, eight and a half times earnings. We, we've got valuations uh, uh, really at the moment showing that, well, they should be a screaming buy, but, you know, there's a, probably a discount built in as we've been asking people. Uh, and so what is that? And, you know, why, what is it going to take for people to get back into this market? Um, Historically, to your point, uh, you know, the recent range is nine times to 12 times. So the closer you get to that bottom range and you're willing to take a little bit of a short term volatility, um, you could make money. Um, I think people wanted to see stimulus and people also wanted to see pick up in gross momentum and then also some more concrete progress on U.S. China. Uh, you know, relationship. I think things are not getting worse uh, outside of the growth momentum, but it's not getting substantially better. So I think that's what's holding people back a little bit. Uh, but in the second half, we're more optimistic. We look at the inventory destocking cycle, um, and our estimate is that by the end of September, we're going to be done uh, on the average of 17 months. And I think the market, based on the PMI estimate, is looking at end of June. So that expectation may get shifted out a bit. But after that, I think we're firmly in recovery for later in the second half. Yeah, given all the, the, the bears out there, even those that were overweight are now trimming their holdings and they're saying, you know, maybe a neutral, I'm going to tilt towards, you know, Japan, India, Korea. There's so many more opportunities uh, outside of China here right now. What, what's the case to stay invested in China still, Wendy, when there's so much outperformance elsewhere? Um, I think if we look at it on a full year basis, um, then on a monthly basis, there are tactical adjustments. Um, China is a very big part of the index. Uh, and I think if you look at the relative momentum on earnings revision, uh, then there is a case to be made in China. So within MSCI Asia, uh, X Japan in 1Q, China is where we see the biggest net margin expansion. Uh, cost cutting mm. across the board has been very impressive. So clients are probably gauging what's going to happen in interim result. And if there's something that could prove, even though revenues are down a bit, but margins it can expand and sustainable, um, that would be a pleasant surprise. So I wouldn't be entirely out of this market, but it does mean that there are macro volatility, fund flow volatility, and there's a bit of a trading around the core positions that can enhance investor return.